let's assume that we have this Java class and we need to call it from Kotlin. Well, that's pretty easy to do. This class has a couple of options. One is we can get a customer from a social profile. So this would assume that this was going out to some social media, you know, API, and it would get the customer and then return customer back. Maybe we would look it up by their social media handle. And this method basically returns a list of processed customers that's doing some processing in the background. The implementation is not important, but what it is is the types and how it's being called. And then we have a Kotlin file called customer facade following a very common facade pattern where it maybe is interacting with a bunch of different services to perform some work on some customer objects. And lastly, of course, we have the customer object, which just has customer's name and, and some other methods in here, which are you know negligible at this point. So inside of customer facade, let's assume that we needed to, to call into the customer service, which is Java. How would we do that? Well, let's assume we wanted to do it pass it in via the constructor. So what we can see is customer service, and now we are working directly with the customer service. And we can say something like this. We want to get the customer, customer, and then we can say equals customer service dot customer from social, and then maybe we'll pass in, you know, username. So just example, the user, example username. Here, we are now calling into Java from Kotlin, but there's something interesting to note here is if you look at this right here, you'll see customer has an exclamation point at the end. And what that means is that it is a platform type. And this means right here that T could be null or it could not be null. So we're not sure. You have to decide for yourself because you're calling into Kotlin. So there's a couple of things you could do here. Now, of course, if I were to just type inside of my application, I would just type, you know, customer dot name. I could do this. I could say print line customer dot name. And that should work as long as the customer is not null. But however, there is a chance that this customer object could be null. And if it does come back null, I am going to get a null pointer exception. So a couple of ways to handle this inside of our Kotlin code. We could, of course, just go ahead and use the double bang operator that will force it to not be null. However, that is a little bit of a code smell. Uh, we could use require not null. That will work as well, but again, this will crash the application. Uh, sometimes that's the only thing you can do when you're calling into a library you don't have control over. Then at this point, you're saying, well, I know the customer's not gonna be null because I'm requiring it not to be null. You could wrap this in a try catch. Uh, if you have access though to the actual Java code, you can go to this implementation and you can slap on an annotation. You can slap on the not null annotation and you could there's various different ones from the JSR to I'm using JetBrains version here. There's one for Android as well. And what this will do is tell Kotlin that, hey, trust us, we know what we're doing. If we return from this, it's not gonna be null. So now, if you notice, the exclamation point went away. Kotlin saying, well, you are telling me via this annotation that whoever calls into customer from social will get back a customer object and that customer object will not be null. So we're gonna go ahead and trust you and then we can go ahead and execute accordingly and at that point in time, I can do whatever I want. Now, this also can be a little bit further here. Let's take a look at the other method. The other method is processed customers. So process customers here. Let's say val customers. You can say customer service dot processed customers. Maybe you're processing them to update account details or whatever. Now notice the same thing. Again, it's being a platform type is being returned here. We have the exclamation points that are returned, but now we have two of them. We have a list and we have the customers. Now what this is saying is like, hey, caller, Kotlin folks, we're not sure if this is a read-only list, we're not sure if this is a mutable list, um, we're not sure if this is null, and we're not sure if this is no or nullable. We don't really know yet uh, because you're calling into a platform type, we're not sure what it is. And so you can start slapping on additional annotations on here, but for example, you can also put a not null annotation here. And this not null annotation, then again, we'll remove that saying, hey, this is a, at this point, this is a this is a list that's not gonna be null. So therefore, if we do perform some operations on the list, which we get at this point, which is nice, we can actually map over this list, which is interesting because we're calling into Kotlin, we're getting back an array list, and then in that array list, we're getting it back inside of Kotlin, and now we can start performing using our Kotlin standard library collection utilities. Now this makes life a lot easier. I can perform filtering, I can perform all different types of things directly inside of Kotlin after I've called into Java. So 
bunch of different stuff you can do. One thing you just want to be aware of is when you are calling into these various platform types that uh, you check for nullables and make sure that you don't have null pointer exceptions.